In today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking our Pixel 8, or in this case, Pixel 8 Pro, we're going to be rooting this thing, full instructions, and we're going to enable display out over USB-C. Editor Shane with something important to say. As part of this process, this rooting process, your phone will be reset. So be aware of that going in, it's unavoidable. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to enable debugging in developer mode on your Pixel 8 Pro. So we're going to swipe down a couple times. We're gonna go into our settings. Scroll down to about phone, then scroll all the way down and click on build number a whole bunch of times. It's gonna pop up and tell you, you are now a developer. You can go back, go into system, and then go into developer options. Scroll down once more, and we're looking for USB debugging. Now just kind of pause your phone where you are for the moment. Click on the link in the description, scroll down and download the SDK platform tools for whatever OS you're using. I am a Windows user, so I'm gonna click on Windows, scroll down. I have read this, I haven't read this, but it's fine. Click on download. And you should now have this zip file on your computer. Now I'm gonna show you what I do with mine just to make things a little bit easier. You're gonna have to right click on this and do extract. We're just going to do extract here because it should be in its own folder already, it is. So what I do is I rename this ADB and then I will go to the root of my C drive. As you can see here, let's sort this by alphabet. And you can see I've already done this. There's an ADB folder and within that is all of this stuff. I just put this folder right here at the root of my C drive. It just makes things easier because what you're gonna wind up doing is clicking start, type in CMD to open up your command prompt. Let's bring this over. And then you're gonna have to do CD, C colon slash ADB. What we're doing is we're doing a change of directory. So now our command prompt is operating inside that ADB folder. If you left it in your download folder, you would have had to have typed CD, C colon slash, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. So you can see why putting it there is just going to make it easier. Now there are things in my folder that you're not going to have. They're not relevant to this. You just need these files here, which you should have just downloaded. Hopefully you put them in the root of your C drive and you're up and running. Now back on that developer options screen where you should now have USB debugging turned on, let's scroll up and let's turn on OEM unlocking. You can see my screen just went black because I'm entering my pin. We're going to enable OEM unlocking. Back on our other screen here, we're gonna type in ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter. Upon doing this, your Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro should be rebooting. I can't really show you this super easily, but I'll try to do this. We now have a black screen. You see that my screen just now went away and now we are on this screen here. At this point, we wanna run fast boot devices to just make sure that your device is there. If nothing appears, you probably don't have the correct driver on your computer. No big deal, easy to fix. We're gonna to go to the second link in the description and click on download the Google USB zip file. Okay, so then back over here on the other screen, we have that extracted it to USB driver. We're gonna right click on this one, the .inf file. We're gonna go down to show more options potentially. We're just looking for install. Once it is installed, you should hear that little sound that your computer will make when something is unplugged and then plugged back in. Try running this again and you should see your device now appearing. At that point, what we can do is fast boot, flashing, unlock, and hit enter. You should now have appearing on your Pixel device. This screen's probably gonna struggle to focus. So basically what it says is, do not unlock bootloader or lock bootloader. Hit your volume key to change it to unlock the bootloader and then hit your power button. Now this is going to reset your device. Hopefully I said that already, but it's gonna reset your device. And you'll know this has worked because you see device state is unlocked. Okay, so we are in a pretty good place now. Back over here, fast boot, reboot. And that will of course reboot your phone. You will also see a new screen whenever you first boot up telling you that you are dealing with an unlocked bootloader. Now, like I said, this thing should be reset. So we're gonna have to go through our setup again really quickly. So we're gonna kind of pause the recording. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna pick it back up. 
So once you've got your device set back up to some degree, you're gonna have to go back in and do the developer options thing again. Go back into about, build number, tap it a bunch of times, turn back on USB debugging because all that stuff got reset. At this point, what you're gonna do is click the next link in the description to go get our factory image. Now there may be a spot where it asks you to like accept the terms of service or something like that. Do that. Let's keep moving, then scroll down and find your device. You're looking for either Husky for Pixel 8 Pro or Shiba for Pixel 8. Perhaps I'll be able to just link to these directly in the description. Hopefully that will work. So if you don't know which one you need, go back onto your phone, go into the About section, look for the build number, and look for what you see here. So the most recent is this one here. So that's the one I'm going to download. Let's click on the Link button to get that downloading. While that is downloading, we're also going to need to install the Magisk Manager. That will be in another link in the description down below. Scroll down. Let's look for how to download. And there is download Magisk. We're going to proceed right through this. And we're going to wait five seconds. We'll click here. Let's go ahead and click here. And now we have Magisk Manager uh, on our computer as well. So we have these two files now in our download folder, but there's a couple of things we need to do. First off, let's extract that one. So we're going to extract, we're going to extract it into its own folder to keep it uh, nice and neat. If we go in there, there's probably going to be another folder. And then you should see another zip file. Let's go ahead and click on it. And we're going to, guess what? Let's extract it as well. Something strange just happened. Let's try that again. Let's do extract and extract into this folder. Let's go into that one, and we're looking for this file here, init underscore boot dot img. Now we're going to need to get that file as well as that Magisk Manager APK onto your device. So on your phone, make sure that that is set, instead of to no data transfer, make sure it says file transfer slash Android auto. That's going to allow you to transfer files to it of course so back over here here is your pixel 8 pro let's go ahead and open that up we're just going to put stuff in the downloads folder so here is the where did it go in it boot let's grab it drag it to your downloads folder let's come back here and let's grab that magisk apk and let's put that also into our downloads folder Okay, so we need to install that Magisk Manager. So let's just go to Files. I should be able to do that here. Let's go to Downloads. Let's click on this and go to Settings. Let's tell it it's okay to install things. Let's click on Install. And shortly, that application should be installed, I think. There it is. Let's open that up and we're going to say find some notifications. Let's go ahead and click on install, select and patch a file. We're going to select that init.boot and then you just click on let's go. You should see this happen. Output file is written to blah, 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 blah. You have your file. So now we have to go the other way. This is the download folder on my Pixel 8 Pro. Here is our patched version of that file. We're going to copy that. And we're going to put it into our ADB folder, our platform tools that we made earlier. Let's go ahead and rename it something like this, patched underscore init underscore boot dot img. It'll just make things easier again later. Now, if you've already closed it, we need to do the command prompt thing again. So command prompt cdc colon slash adb. And now we're going to do adb reboot bootloader, of course, with your, try that again, with your Pixel plugged in. This will, duh, reboot it into its bootloader. Let's confirm that you are there. Let's do fastboot devices. We can see that that file is there. Now we're gonna type in fastboot flash init underscore boot and then whatever you named this thing. So we're just gonna grab all of it like that and then we're gonna right click and that should be in there now. Should be able to just hit enter and we are just fine. I think we're pretty much done. If you get an error, what you need to do is manually flash this to both partitions. So where you do this flash in it underscore boot, you would replace it with this fast boot flash in it underscore boot underscore A followed by your file name run that and then do the same thing again. But next time do it as B instead. At that point, I should be able to do ADB reboot or I'm sorry, fast boot, reboot. And then let's jump into, nope, not Fitbit. Let's jump into 
Magisk, and I think, let's ignore this, it does show that it is indeed installed. And I guess we could go to Play Store and let's install this very old root checker, and this will confirm that we do indeed have this device rooted. So let's open it up, let's verify root, let's grant, and congratulations, guys, we are indeed rooted. So now that we have that done, let's try and get this display out thing working that we've talked about in prior videos. So let's drag this over here just to make it nice and simple. This is a post by Freak07, and evidently what this is is a module that will enable this to work. So we're gonna download this, copy that zip file over to your phone, however you wanna do it, and then in Magisk, you'll see a section on the bottom uh, side here that says modules. Click on that modules section. And then there's a thing up the top that says install from storage. Hit that, go to the download folder, select it, let it do its thing. And you'll see this is what I have now. USB-C to display output enabler for Pixel 8. So now all there is to do is go test it. Now, as my Pixel 8 Pro reboots, hopefully this is functional, I do want to let you guys know that you do need a cable that is capable of carrying a display. Uh, this should be obvious, but if your cable can't carry a display out, this is never going to work. So make sure that your cable is functioning and maybe try it with another device to confirm that it's capable. Guys, we are fully functional. This is working exactly as advertised. Let's fire up a video. And let's go full screen, and there you go. We are in full screen. It's not taking up the entire display like you would maybe want it to, but that's working all right. Audio is coming out of the phone, though. That may just be something that is dependent upon your display or what have you. But guys, it is actually working. So guys, there you go. Full instructions to do all of this stuff. The display out portion is only going to be a thing on the Pixel 8 devices. Don't try it on other ones. It's not going to work. Shout out to Michelle Ramon for uncovering the display out stuff. Really, really cool uh, to be able to enable that for people. Hopefully that is beneficial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy.